Hi there, my name is Dr. Lindsay Valenti, and today we'll be learning about gene therapy in Wilson disease, its opportunities and challenges. So before we get started, let's briefly review what is Wilson disease? Well, Wilson disease is a rare inherited disease that leads to toxic copper accumulation in the body. Now this can affect a number of organs, but in particular, the liver, which can experience damage and even liver failure. Now, what's key to remember here is the gene that's involved. It's the ATP7B gene, and this is a gene that helps to code for a copper transport protein in cells. Now, for folks who have Wilson disease, the mainstay of therapy is oral daily medications that aim to bind the excess copper in the body and excrete or eliminate it from the body. So you might be wondering, what is gene therapy and how exactly does it work? Well, the goal of gene therapy is to deliver a functional ATP7B gene into individuals who have Wilson disease. So current research is studying the use of viruses, specifically adeno-associated virus. Now, this is a very small virus that can be modified and cannot replicate on its own. These viruses act as vectors, or rather carriers, for the working ATP7B gene. So the thought behind this is that folks with Wilson disease could undergo infusions which would deliver this appropriate gene. And this process would therefore allow cells to create a working copper transport protein, therefore restoring normal copper processing in the liver. So why is this such a huge opportunity? Well, it's a huge opportunity because gene therapy seeks to be a one-time treatment for Wilson disease. Now that's not to say it's not without challenges. The biggest challenge is that ATP7B is a very large gene. It's actually too large to be fully incorporated into adeno-associated viruses. Now, with that being said, current studies have used shortened versions and have shown success in decreasing copper accumulation in the body, which is promising. So the take home point here is that gene therapy is an exciting and evolving possibility for the treatment of Wilson's disease and clinical trials are currently underway. I myself look forward to seeing how this helps to improve the lives and the treatment for folks with Wilson disease. Thank you.